We know the voltage of a point charge is KQ over R. R is how far you are from the charge. Let's find the voltage of a ring along its axis. So I've drawn it here. We have 2 pi R circumference, R radius, total charge Q on the ring, and we're at distance Z along the axis, which means that the distance from the point to a random bit of charge is always going to be R which is the square root of z squared plus r squared. Because of that, r being a constant, when we try to find the voltage of the ring, we're going to add up all the little bits of voltage. And because it's continuous, adding them up means doing an integral. One little bit of voltage is coming from one little bit of charge. And a little bit of charge dq would be lambda times dx. And we know what x ranges over. It goes from 0 to 2 pi r, which means our total voltage is add up from 0 to 2 pi r all the little bits of voltage, k lambda dx over little r, which is square root of big R squared plus z squared. The cool thing here is that there are no x's in this. Everything comes out front, and we're just integrating all the little bits of length from 0 to 2 pi r. Well, if you're adding up all the bits of length, you get the length. You get 2 pi r. So we have k lambda over square root r squared plus z squared times 2 pi r, but lambda times 2 pi r is q. So this is kq over little r, exactly the same as for a point charge, except that all the charge is this far away, not this far away.